It's only only doctored until you commit a crime on it. Then they soon adopt it and can nick you for no insurance. Down, down. It's the lucrative run of business because when you sign, of course it is. When you when you take a house on or a bungalow in Jay, it yes. says, it stipulates in your deeds. Yeah. That you're not to run a business from home. Of course. You need, business, you need business, you need business rates. Can I make a suggestion on that? Please. Basically, they're actually saying to the police, because he talked to me like I did. Yep. Ask them to explain it to you down there, and they'll explain what they said to me. So now I took the road, yep. that man, he was thrown out on the road sound because he had all rubbish in his face, and he moved further down. He yep. He said, and he's been around the wild room. Mm. But he's repairing in that, and they're all on that seat front there. And when summer comes at the busy, even now, you haven't got to park at all there, because you take some off the bloody road. Well, hopefully we'll sort that. Okay, so, so this, this next one concerns Dave. Dave, you need to turn it to Dan like Gary did. So basically, Dave's pointed out, he lives, he lives on Golf Green Road, and he's saying the speed on Golf Green Road is at the worst ever. People are driving the opposite side. Do you know the bollards down there? People are going around them the opposite way. And um, Dave's seen this very often. Um, it's so much risk to human life. And Davies was saying, is that means 24 hours a day? That golf green road. Yeah, the golf green road. If you go to Paul Honeywood, we do what he normally does. He has a yep. test. He has a test during the year when the traffic is very slow. Yep. And basically, when he comes back and he says, all within the guidelines, etc. So, really, all I'm saying is to you, we know there's speed down there. Yep. If you go to golf green hall, they've been doing it for bloody donkey's years as well. Yeah. So, but all we do is pass it on to the police. And if we keep buzzing on, at least they're aware. And we're doing our job. Oh, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, okay. So, and the eighth issue we got up to is people have said that they won't visit Jaywick again because of the state of some people's front gardens and fly tipping. This is tourists that have spoken to us. Kevin, can you tell Dan all about that, please? I was talking to a couple of 